Hello friends, welcome to this YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve one numerical problem on three-phase medium length transmission line. By solving this problem, we shall learn how to determine sending and voltage, current, power and power factor of a three-phase medium length transmission line using its nominal pi equivalent circuit when values of transmission line parameters and load details are given. A three-phase 50 hertz 100 km long line delivers a load of 40,000 kV ampere at 110 kV and a lagging power factor of 0.7. Line to neutral, line constants are resistance equals to 11 ohm, inductive reactance equals to 38 ohm and capacitive susceptance equals to 300 micro mohm. Neglecting leakage, we have to determine the sending and voltage, current, power factor and power input. Let us first write down the given data. Load SL equals to 40,000 kilovolt ampere. Line to line receiving and voltage VR line equals to 110 kilovolts. That is equal to 110 into 10 to the power 3 volts. For star connected system, receiving and voltage per phase, VR equals to VR line divided by root 3. That is equal to 110 into 10 to the power 3 divided by root 3. That gives us 63508.53. Volt. Given load power factor cos phi L equals to 0 0.7 lagging. Let us now calculate power factor angle. Phi L equals to cos inverse 0 0.7 that is equal to 45.573 degree. We know that load SL equals to root 3 times VR line into IL. Therefore, load current IL equals to SL divided by root 3 times VR line. Using values we get 40,000 divided by root 3 into 110. That gives us 209.95 ampere. Load current may be written in Polar form as IL equals to IL at an angle minus phi L that is equal to 209.95 ampere at an angle minus 45.573 degree. This may be written in Cartesian form as 146.965 minus J times 149.9343. Ampere given resistance per phase R equals to 11 ohm, inductive reactance per phase XL equals to 38 ohm, and capacitive susceptance per phase PC equals to 300 micro mohm. That is equal to 3 into 10 to the power minus 4 mohm. Transmission line. Series impedance per phase J equals to R plus J times XL that is equal to 11 plus J times 38 ohm. This may be written in polar form as 39.56 ohm at an angle 73.8557 degree. Let us now determine capacitor charging current at the receiving end, ICR equals to VR into half of J times BC. Considering receiving and voltage per phase as reference, we can write VR equals to 63,508.53 volt 
at an angle 0 degree using values we get ICR equals to 63508.53 at an angle 0 degree into half of 3 into 10 to the power minus 4 at an angle 90 degree that gives us 9.5263 ampere at an angle 90 degree. This may be written in Cartesian form as 0 plus J times 9.5263 ampere. Now we shall calculate current flowing through the series impedance I equals to IL plus ICR. We have computed load current IL equals to 146.965 minus J times 149.9343 ampere using values we get I equals to 146.965 minus J times 140.408 ampere. This may be written in polar form as 203.2563 ampere at an angle minus 43.5. 6929 degree. Now we shall determine sending and voltage per phase. Vs equals to Vr plus I into Z. Using values we get 63508.53 at an angle 0 degree plus 203.2563 at an angle minus 43.6929 degree into 39.56 at an angle 73.8557 degree that gives us 70,460.632 plus J times 4040.1796 volt. This may be written in polar form as 70,576.378 volt at an angle 3.2817 degree. Now we shall calculate capacitor charging current at the sending end. ICS equals to Vs into half of J times Bc. Using values we get 70,576.378 at an angle 3.2817 degree into half of 3 into 10 to the power minus 4 at an angle 90 degree. That gives us 10.5865 ampere at an angle 93.5. 2817 degree. This may be written in Cartesian form as minus 0 0.606 plus J times 10.5691 ampere. We have computed capacitor charging current at the sending end ICS equals to minus 0 0.606 plus J times 10.5691 ampere and current flowing through the series impedance I equals to 146.965 minus J times 140.408 ampere. Now we shall calculate sending end current IS equals to ICS plus I using values we get. 146.359 minus J times 129.8389 ampere. This may be written in polar form as 195.65 ampere at an angle minus 41.577 degree. IS may be expressed in polar form as IS at an angle minus 51. We have computed sending and voltage per phase Vs equals to Vs at an angle delta equals to 
3784 at an angle 3.2817 degree. For star connected system, line to line sending and voltage, Vs line equals to root 3 times Vs. That is equal to root 3 into 70,576.378, which is approximately equal to 1.22 into 10 to the power 3 volts or 1.22 kilo volts. Phase difference between Vs and Is, phi is equals to delta plus phi 1. Using values we get. 3.2817 degree plus 41.577 degree that is equal to 44.8587 degree. Let us now calculate sending end power factor. Cos phi s equals to cos of 44.8587 degree that is equal to 0 0.70885. Lagging. Now we shall calculate sending and input power. Ps equals to 3 times Ps into Is cos phi s. Using values we get 3 into 70,576.378 into 195.65 into 0 0.70885 which is approximately equal to 29.364 into 10 to the power 6 watts or 29.364 megawatt. So today we have solved one numerical problem on three phase medium length transmission line. By solving this problem we have learned how to determine sending and voltage current power and power factor of a three phase medium length transmission line using its nominal pi equivalent circuit when values of transmission line parameters and load details are given. Hope this lecture has been useful for you. If you have any suggestion or question, please drop it in the comment section below. If you have liked this video, Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thank you.